School is out forever for ITT Tech students. More than 130 campuses permanently closing their doors, including the one here in Chattanooga. News Channel Line's Kelsey Bagwell tells us options for students now left without degrees. Closed for business. The lights inside ITT Technical Institute aren't coming back on. This location in Eastgate Town Center, a now defunct school its students took on debt to attend. Where these students have borrowed money to, to, be, to attend class. The Better Business Bureau of Chattanooga has not received formal complaints about the school's closure. Jim Winsett says for-profit institutions like ITT Tech have been under scrutiny for some time for their high level of loans needed to attend. A banking institution some time ago have quit offering this type of loan to students because there was such a high default rate. On ITT Tech's website, a 25-year-old living with his or her parents and making less than $30,000 a year will pay more than $16,000 in tuition a year, in addition to student loan payments. Winsett says their interest rates are higher than public colleges or universities. If they don't graduate, Winsett says they'll default on the loan. There is more risk uh, with this type of loan. If they can prove ITT Tech used deceptive tactics to convince students to borrow money for college, they can apply to have their loans discharged. Transferring is also an option, but only these schools will let their credits transfer, according to ITT Tech's website. Regardless which method they choose, Winsett urges students to fight back. They need to educate themselves immediately as to what those options are so that they, they can see what course of action they want to take. That story from Kelsey Bagwell. News Channel 9 also asked the Better Business Bureau about the future of other technical schools like Miller Mott in our area. Jim Winsett says although their loan process is similar, he cannot say whether they could close for the same reason.